Hey gang, it's JC and this is Sexually Speaking, sponsored by Dr. Kathy Naughton and the Center for Sexual Health. We update every Monday and Thursday and we scour the earth for stories about couples and love and sex and marriage and people hooking up and all sorts of stuff like that. And AskMen.com gets the prize today because they surveyed 70,000 men, questions about dating and sex and stuff like that. And here are some of the results. It is okay to be dumb if you're loyal, girls. A sense of loyalty is the main thing that men look for in deciding whether a woman is relationship material. Loyalty got 35% of the vote. Intelligence came in as the least important trait at 19%. Wow. Most guys don't care about prenups, even though they're afraid of losing everything in a divorce. Uh, at least in a survey of the responses on this survey, men don't cheat. 72% said if they could cheat with no chance of being caught, they still wouldn't do it. All right, guys are stupidly shallow about weight. A surprisingly high and surprisingly ignorant 47% of men surveyed say that they would dump a girlfriend if she got too chubby. Chivalry is not dead when it comes to the check. 44% of the guys said that the man should pay for the majority of dates until the relationship is established. The whole idea of going out on a date with a woman and, and not picking up the tab for everything to me just seems absolutely insane. And the guys here in this survey are trying to take a bow because 44% of them said, oh yeah, I pick up the check. What about the other more than half who are like going Dutch or something? This is amazing to me. I just never even dream of doing something like that. Women should be careful about uh, Facebook friending their exes. 29% of the guys surveyed say they're not comfortable with a woman friending her exes. A healthy sex life means regular sex to most men. 78% of the guys surveyed said that a healthy sex life means having sex with a partner multiple times a week. So give it up, ladies. The majority of guys have fantasized about their partner's friends, 37%, as a matter of fact. Threesomes are the fantasy that guys most want. Guys think that they know when a woman is faking her climax. Half of men wouldn't change the size of their junk if they could. What makes a woman promiscuous? This is interesting. 34% number one answer said it would take 10 sexual partners for a woman. 32% said 20 and 3% uh, said 100. All right, Dr. Kathy Naughton, Center for Sexual Health. Everybody's out there running around doing it uh, or trying to do it, and some people are having difficulty because as you get older or as uh, physiologically things take place in the human body, things start to happen. And not only affects you, obviously it affects your partner. And that's a big focus of what they do at the Center for Sexual Health. This is uh, a part of Metropolitan Urological Specialists. It is a medical facility. It's not somebody working out of a strip mall next to a pizza joint. This is a place where they deal with everything from vasectomies to male erectile dysfunction, female sexual dysfunction, uh, infertility, prostate health, bladder issues, all sorts of stuff that, you know, where do you go, right? I mean, who do you talk to? Where do you get a referral? Well, you don't need one. You go straight to Dr. Kathy Naughton, Center for Sexual Health. Online, Center for Sexual Health, STL.com, or call Dr. Kathy Naughton at the Center for Sexual Health, 314-315-9900. 65. And the five male grooming mistakes that women hate the most. Here they are, guys. Write them down and pay attention. Gross toenails at number one. Having hair where you shouldn't at number two. Not enough deodorant or too much cologne at three. Ugly feet at number four. And hair that's as hard as a rock is number five. All right, that's it. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. Hope you uh, uh, check us out again on Monday. We update here on Sexually Speaking on The Daily Dose and jconthelinecom every Monday and Thursday. So I have a fresh one for you on Monday. In the meantime, that's it. We'll see you next time.